All right, all right, friends of Feeney. Feeney Talks with Friends, episode 42. My name is Eric Feeney. I'm the founder and president of Friends of Feeney. Our mission is to help children and families that have heartbreak or tragedy. I use this podcast, Feeney Talks with Friends, and I talk with wonderful people in the community that are doing great things. And today's guests do wonderful things in our West Hartford community. I'm very excited to talk with Laura and Kelly. How are you guys doing? Good, how are you doing? Good, good. Good. And last, um, Last podcast was 41, Cy Hess. He's the, pr- he's the president of the, know Cy. you know Cy? We know Cy. All right. <laughs> Cy, they know you, Cy. Hey, Cy. <laughs> he's the president of West Hartford Youth Baseball League. So cool. we talked baseball, okay. we talked some finances. It was, it was a good podcast. Nice. Check it out, episode nice. 41. Right. And um, want to thank, our, check out when this starts, our new intro, our new colors. Thank you so much to Dave at Direct Line Media and Owen. And thank you so much for hosting us, Weeha Roasting and Brewing. Will does the beer, Cody does the coffee. They're very generous and great hosts. Thank you for this, yep, Cody Street. (laughs) And now I know why it was called that, sorry. (laughs) And we got some sponsors, so thanks again to our sponsors. (laughs) Our sponsors, The Fix IV, you ever get a fix? Have you ever got a fix? She's a sponsor of Johnny's Johnny's Show. She's a sponsor of this podcast. No, sir. Erin Aaron Fox. She's awesome. Erin is great. Uh, and we love her daughter, Dorothy. She's great nice. Too. Nice. And um, we were, I was going to get a, a podcast, uh, excuse me, going to get an IV on the podcast, but Dave had his grand opening. Grand opening. Congratulations, Dave. He's not here, but he just opened a brand new office and studio in Bramford. Okay. He had three chamber of commerce. He had the old Saybrook, Waterbury, and West Hartford because he's a part of all of them. Uh, no, he's just doing great things. Will brought up Weeha Brewing. Peter did photography. This guy, Frank, played acoustic music. It was just a great yeah. grand opening. Nice. Cool. So congratulations, Dave. Congratulations, Owen. Owen was there. What'd you nice. think of the grand opening? Cool. Good turnout. Yeah. It's a lot more people than I thought. So. Pretty good. Yeah, I think it's made up there. Yeah. Really cool. That's really cool. <laughs> All right. But now we are here with Kelly and Laura of Johnny's Jog. Johnny's Jog is like if friends of feeney had a role model johnny's <laughs> job would be friends of feeney's role model oh, so that's really nice. thank you for everything that you're doing oh, thank you i've been always interested in uh what you were doing and your passion and your care for the community and you know you're bringing people together for a good cause and raising money and just um thank you for being here so it means a lot thank to you. talk with you guys thanks for having no, us no we appreciate that that's really kind words coming from you. I know. you Rocking can... the shirt. Yeah. Love the shirt. <laughs> and uh, Friends of Feeney, we're very excited to collaborate. We're collaborating on March 27th. If you, I'm going to put a link. Everyone should run Johnny's Jog March 27th. That's right. Friends of Feeney's helping out. Do you, do you know what, what we're doing? No. Well. At the Johnny's Jog? Are you going to well, bring the photo booth? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that's actually actually huge. That's actually huge. The photo photo booth is a lot of fun. The photo booth gets tons of people coming in and it really adds to some of the fun behind the event. We love to add so many things, not just come to run and walk. I mean, you don't have to run, you can walk. So people always ask that question, but all the added things that we have really help to make it a real fun St. Patrick's Day themed event. It's really cool. It says nine come for festivities, Mm -hmm. 1030 is the race. Yeah. So photo booth will be between nine and 1030. That's right. Mm -hmm. And this all started with uh, New England assistive technology, 2017. I think my wife is, Mm -hmm. she's the senior director now, but she was the director and she did it an accessible photo booth where Anyone can go in, strollers, wheelchairs, yeah. accessible for everyone. Um, what's the thing you- Props. Gotta have, have lots of props. Yes. Props and mustaches. Patrick's and everything. Patrick's oh, yeah. theme yeah. stuff. And you guys I always come I still have pictures. I still have pictures from that same one too. Yeah. Yep. So this, mm-hmm. is, this is a picture. Dave's gonna put up the color copy. <laughs> Wait, is that Kelly? Oh, that's no. my wife, Nicole. <laughs> I still remember you wearing that hat. I do. Yep. I remember the I was suit. like, look at these people. They're so fun. Yes. 2017. And, and Kelly's like, yeah. wait, that's the photo booth guy. That's yeah, the photo booth guy. When I first started seeing you at the League events and stuff, I said, it's the photo booth guy. And now you're to come find out. Come to find out. You know, you're not just the photo booth guy. Nice. I've been called a lot of things. 
Hey, there's the photo booth guy. Uh, well, you came through for us, so that was big. So that was, that the was big. I mean, booth. I have to tell you, I've spent countless hours over the last week trying to track down a um, inflatable Gaga pit for the West Hartford. Or it was originally West Hartford YMCA. And just, we, you were like one email and you're like, yeah, I'll be there, no problem. Though this was like, took me hours upon hours. We did get it. We secured the, okay. the um, Gaga pit. We have one at High Meadow Day Camp. Oh, we need it. Yes, it's good to know. We were, we were, it was originally at Camp Jewel, for, but we did find it. It's in Granby. Oh. We just have to pick it up. Are they big? North Granby, yeah, they're heavy, big. Oh, and you got to keep them running. I asked her if I could get it in a Suburban, and she thought so. Yeah, no. But I was like, well, I don't want to get there. And you have a Suburban <laughs> or a Tahoe? Is that a Tahoe it's or a, a suburban. suburban? Oh, yeah. It's a Suburban. Those are the cool um, mom cars now. Yeah, well, it's old. Um, but, but now yeah. that we know, yeah. photo booth and... Ben yes. Chayback, he's the director. He was a guest. I'm, I'm volunteering camp stuff, but I'm sure for a good cause, he'd be happy to donate. Yeah. So let me know. And we do Thank love you. the the YMCA. It was great. It was just like they, nobody knew it was. Like they thought it was a camp jewel, and then we tracked it down to um, uh, one of the I'm trying to think Farmington Valley YMCA, and they uh, they did let us use it, which is awesome. So Gaga pits are in high demand. Yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> now you know the rules on Gaga. Do you know the rules? My kids do. I, I did not know what Gaga don't. was until I became a fifth grade teacher nine years ago in West Hartford. We did not play Gaga in Waterbury. <laughs> <laughs> it's also become more popular, I think, right? Yeah, but I think so too. My, they cost a lot of money. We had to yeah. raise a lot of money for my kids' school. Did you have yeah. a blow up one or you have the permanent they one? They have the permanent yeah. one now, but they just got yeah. it. It was a big deal yeah. at Duffy. It was part of like the um, annual auction that they do, but it was like a yeah. side bit. Mm -hmm. to I want to say four years ago, we got a permanent one at Wolkett. Okay. Which Most is pretty of the cool. Have them now. It's a big yeah. Deal. yeah, below the knees. Gotta hit below the knees. Oh, yeah. That's good. And you can't hook it and you can only hit it once. And but if it hits the wall, that counts. So you could head off the wall, the wall, the wall, and then whap someone. Oh, okay. There's all these little tricks. Yeah. It's kind of like now the it's kids like the they make up all these rules ball, with right? them. Yeah, they play elimination, then they play um if you get out only ten in at a time. It's a fun game. Okay. We it looks we like have like three one. of them at camp. So we have a permanent one. And maybe two blow ups. Okay, so. fun. Yeah. Yeah, that we the we've always had that blow up one um, from the Y at Johnny's Jug and it is a big hit, but it's we have to really be strategic when picking our volunteers for that because it, the kids like you need like a gym teacher. Oh, yeah. Somebody like somebody yes. really, really enforce gonna enforce the rules. structure yeah. and some uh, <laughs> yeah. stay on top of them because they're not in school, so they think they can go wild. But it is fun. <laughs> I mean, <it's> right. fun. <laughs> yeah, Wolk it. Do you know any Wolketeers? Right here. Really? <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, Walk a tear in. Oh my gosh. I'm like, okay. if, I'm, I'm going right. to tell my friends, so you have to watch the Feeny podcast because, so we still refer to ourselves as Walk Tears. Come on. Yeah. So I have a couple friends. Um, what minute are we I on so we know. talk Walk a Tears? <laughs> five minutes in, tell your friends. Five minutes in, we yeah, talked Walk a Tears. Five minutes in, Walk a Tears. Yeah. I just <laughs> learned about Walk a Tears today. <laughs> Today, just Wait, now. So, okay, so from Becky. Just the thing. Becky. Oh, how did I talk to Becky? I talked to about Walketeers. I did. Look at that. I told her. She shows oh. up for pickup. Oh, no way. Did rocking. she tell you what oh, we texting she's rocking the Johnny's Jog hat. You can you see oh, that? Oh, she's the best. She, I was texting Becky. her, actually. Right? I'm like, give me some <laughs> dirt. Podcast is today. Oh, my God. She's like, Kelly's a Walketeer. She's like, I got some good stuff. She went to Walket. She's a Wolketeer. Oh, Are they still calling kids Wolketeers? I go, no. No, but there's Wolketeers, something about, so it's I don't pretty know, cool. maybe it's everybody's elementary school, but there's something you become partial to your elementary school. Yeah. When my husband and I were first yeah. buying a house, we bought in the Duffy area. We didn't even have kids. And I told him, I was like, do you think we should live in the Walket district? He was like, why? He went to Brave. So he's like, why? I was like, I don't know. That was I was like, I don't know, because maybe we want our kids to go to walk. Yeah, <laughs> but want, that's like, I want little walk of tears. Right. I'm a walk of tears. Yeah. And you all got... the kids, all the, all the schools are great, you know, and they're all great for the kids. And so it's yeah. funny because, you know, it's not, I mean, walk it, you know, near and dear to the heart. <laughs> but that's uh, so yeah, walk a tear. That's what we still, and we'll still say something like, oh, yeah, well, he's a fellow walk a tear, like joking, of course. But guessing it's a play on musketeer? I don't really or know. We used to call ourselves walk a tears. Walk a tear? <laughs> yeah. I like it. I think you need friends if you need to bring it back. All right. But. Let's do it. <laughs> tomorrow, yes. t tomorrow class. You know? I will right? now refer to all of you <laughs> as walk a tears. <laughs> They might like it. They're third graders, and when right? They graduate. Yeah. They're going to be like the first class to be official Wolketeers. Yes. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Oh, All right. Funny. We've uh, had, you know, call them scholars. That didn't really go over too well. Scholars, yeah. Uh, we are. Then we had, you know, learners. 
mm. trying to go away from, you know, boys and girls, right. ladies and gentlemen, yeah. learners, yeah. mathematicians, scientists, mm -hmm. stuff like that. They're going to so, like yeah. the Walketeers. Walketeers. They, they might. That. It's a really good It was the 80s. I, you know, things no, are different now. We're bringing it, now. Bringing it back. T shirts, <gasps> everything. Right? You didn't do that. You didn't do that. Kelly, you're being you. It's just impressive. <laughs> like, just Are you from West Hartford? No, fits. I'm from New Jersey, so this is um, a different thing. And I grew up in a teeny tiny town that had one elementary school and one class per grade. And there was like tops 20 in that class. Jeez. And my brother and I are stepbrother, sister, um, and we were two of Oh, so 19, there was 18 19 kids. Like... We were 10% of like the population in, of the grade. <laughs> wow. So that's what I mean. Like when you come here and there's 11 elementary schools, it's like yeah. crazy to me. And then people are like, oh, this about this one and this about that one. And it's just, I don't know anything yeah. about that. Well, that's so why I'm I said like, they're all They're like, oh, did wonderful you move schools, to that for you know? And I was like, no, we just like yeah. moved our house. No, one of them, I hear people when they move in, real estate in West Harvard, they list the school. Like, this is Duffy. Yeah. You live in Duffy. You're, the, You're moving many, to Duffy. You're moving yeah. to Woken. And sometimes Where a real estate agent other... will say, like, in the sought-after yeah. Duffy neighborhood yeah. or something. It's like, yeah, yeah. the sought-after. Like, and then you're like, aren't they all sort of sought I know, after? they are. Yeah. I mean, there's they've done a lot with... Um, redistricting and uh, districting and stuff like yeah. that. It's where I think that they, you know, I mean, they kind of make it where all the schools are inclusive of all sort the of neighborhoods balance. and everything. Yeah, yeah. I would imagine. Nice. Yeah. I lived across from Dr. K. Were you there for Plato? Oh, I was. Yeah. yeah? So, I was actually um, there when he had his first year. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, he... I know. Wow, right? I'm, I'm ancient. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, he was there for 25 years. Yeah. I've never worked for him. So I lived across the street from him. I oh, moved okay. in and my neighbor was like, that's Dr. K. He's the principal over here. You might want to talk to him. Oh. So I'm like, hey, Dr. Clay, um, Eric Feeney, I'm a teacher. You know, I hear you got a great school over here. He's like, People line up in my car every day after work to, to, to teach there. <laughs> I'm like, and I joked and I go, I'll paint your house, I'll mow your lawn. He goes, I got someone for that too. Oh. And I was like, <gasps> so we just so... like became friendly and talking as neighbors. And then like one day he's like, I got good news and bad news. Good news, I could get you an interview. Bad news, I'm retiring. Oh. So it worked out I'm there. Oh. My daughter, we started, I started fifth grade. My daughter started kindergarten, same school. Can't put a price tag on that. Going yeah. to school with your kids. Oh, it was great. That's awesome. Hanging out before and after in my classroom while they're reading. It was just great. And that's when, you know, I had Gabby Sohn in my classroom and Nancy's the mom and Nancy lost her husband, Sam. That's where Friends of Feeney got started. My oh, first year at Wolf at School. So now Nancy's the secretary. Gabby's oh. at college right now, but she's going to come back and sometime hopefully take this over and be on the oh. director side. Um, oh. Oh, cool. So that's where it started at yeah. Wolkett School. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. School. Wolkett, Wolketeers. That's right. Wolketeers. Fellow Wolketeers. Great yeah. place. <laughs> All right, less about Wolkett. What about Johnny's Jog? So we're here to talk about Johnny's Jog. When did it start? How did it start? A lot of um, people know the story. Yeah, and like I think to... that the story is a little different than what people kind of think because um, it started in with an idea in two th late 2010 um, with us in the Clarks more the Dans probably. We call them the Dans. <coughs> the Dans. The I was going to mention that too. <laughs> Kelly. Dan and Dan. Laura. Yeah. Both yes. have husbands named Dan. Dan. Mm -hmm. The Dans. The Dans. Yes. Now that's what we refer to them as. That should be a t-shirt. That should be a rock band. <laughs> the Dans. Yeah, it's right. a very uh, big name in Johnny's Jack. Yeah. <laughs> the Dans. So um, they had this idea to do it that West Hartford sort of needed a turkey trap. And um, it was November. It, it was, and so November. they were like, "Too late for that." <laughs> too late for that. The town was like, "Well, we could yeah. approve something, but you're way too late for turkey trot." Um, so then they, I don't know if a Dan had the idea or if like um, the town kind of said, "Like, what about something in March?" But um, he was like, "Actually, St. Patrick's Day, we could do something fun. This would be great. We'll have some time to plan." And I think it just was like, "Well, if we're going to charge people money to do this, like, it should be." Um, for, or maybe we weren't going to charge money. I, I can't really remember, but mm -hmm. we were just like, let's make it a benefit. And then I think like our son, Johnny, at that point, he was three and um, he was struggling. You know, he's born with a um, a pretty involved syndrome and um, he was in and out of the hospital at that point. And so we thought like, oh, 
and the poor Clarks, like they were probably like, we can't say no. Like here we are. We're not <laughs> like suggesting that. Suggesting we name it Johnny. Johnny we thought Clarks. it was a we thought it was a great um, idea. We were not. We were not. I think back to that, and I'm like, who were we to be like? Why don't we name it Johnny's Dog? They're probably like, well, I guess. And not that you would not, not want that, but at the same time, the, the Clarks are like, now we're like, like. No, we thought it was an awesome idea. <laughs> no, I think it's great alliteration. Yes. It flows. Yes, so, it's and got we catchy. and it was. You I know, love it. So we, and somehow we pulled it off. Like we were literally like, is anybody going to show up? Like this was just my an husband idea. sketched the first um, logo. Johnny's dog, the logo, was which one? wasn't that one. Okay. No. He sketched it out. He had a friend of ours um, who's an amazing artist kind of recreate it, but then we could only get it in certain files formats and different formats and, and things yeah. and then we realized it for a while it was johnny's and then jog for charity it was like that and people it would, would be like, say oh, like johnny's. yeah what's johnny's johnny's jog and then we needed like, to kind of make it a little like, more yeah, johnny's jog. jog we would be in yeah. the harford st patrick's day parade and people would be like Johnny's, yeah. <laughs> we're like, Johnny's, Johnny's jog. And then we realize, okay, and we need to. Trial and error. Laura and I say every that. year that we learn something new. new like every, dramatically different. Yeah. Um, every year we learn something. We're like, how did we not think of that think before? That. It's amazing. Yeah, After that. now, it's going to be our 12th year. And we're just and it always does, learning. Like, it just does start to like, and I'm sure you see this with, you just, you're so you just you're learning as you go yeah. and it does get you grow better and you better. adapt and you grow and it's yeah. it's and then you look back at the other stuff and you're like that was still so great mm -hmm. but i think we be, we become more efficient and um kind of navigating like we realize people like our gear i don't know if it's our new lo logo or whatever <laughs> but um i think people really like that shamrock on the back it's it's good for this time we always say it's year. so much fun we'll go somewhere like whether it's block island or just even to the rhode island shore or connecticut shore and you see somebody see like somebody. running by with a johnny's jock shirt and you're like oh hey <laughs> or around town people love to mow the lawns with the shirt on with it's it a, yes yeah. or they're running out with it and it's we, fun you know um, it's some fun to see it represented around town dan my husband dan and i um both went to providence college and it's providence basketball just clinched the big east it was a huge game on saturday yep. happened to be my youngest um birth seventh birthday which was sort of overshadowed by the game he like was blowing out candles at like 10 30 at night but um we were so in tune to the game and i got a text from one of my friends and she uh she's like oh my gosh i think they did like a saint patrick's day theme for the student body at the event and somebody had a johnny check shirt on and i'm like that's how awesome. cool is that and i'm like that's awesome I'm that's like, cool. we made it <laughs> we made it <laughs> officially Robin, made it. Basketball. Um, but it's we fun. do get texts from people that have seen them out in California. Somebody saw one from Bar Harbor. So it's that's, awesome. that's kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. I do, I do Wednesdays. Where in the world are our friends? And like someone will rock it. Like oh. Greece oh. was pretty cool. But I mean, I, I'm saying you're going to Greece. Can you bring the shirt? <laughs> right. Can you take the picture? It's a little different than just like randomly seeing it. Right. Oh, but sometimes yeah. pumping gas, I'm like, nice magnet. <laughs> And they go, thanks, thanks. you too. <laughs> and I just leave it at that. You're like, I am. Yes, magnet. totally. It's the same. Yes, exactly. But I do see your magnets everywhere. And we tried the magnet. Remember, our magnet didn't really take. No, well, <laughs> we had a little, we had a little there. logo problem with our magnet. Our magnet <laughs> came and we didn't notice till like months after that the, the T wasn't crossed. It was cherry. Somehow we had gotten it, our logo done somewhere and it had it just didn't have the two crosses. So Johnny's jog for Charlie. It's become, it's become a little funny. That's funny. And then we would laugh and people would be <laughs> We're like driving by and we're like, oh, you got one of those. Okay. You've not noticed. Yeah, Charlie. Well, we didn't notice Charlie. for a while either. So but. we had to take them off the market. Yeah. We never went back, but yours have done well. Thanks. You know, I, to be a good friend, oh, it looks like this. Those are business cards, too. Nice. Oh, that's Going cool. with the whole brand of the oval and the. Be a good friend. That's cool. So yeah, that's our motto. Be a good friend. Pick up trash that's not yours. Mm -hmm. Hold the door for someone. Give a compliment. Be charitable. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. if you're not giving a friends of Feeney, food share, Johnny's Jog. There's so many different charities. Uh, you know, the Bridge Family Center, all these mm -hmm. different places that can use, you know, we're fortunate to have what we need and mm -hmm. just good to give back. Yeah. So if you're not giving back to friends mm -hmm. of Feeney, please support Johnny's Jog. And if you're not giving to Johnny's Jog, Find something that's close, near and dear to your heart. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's cool. All right, so how about, oh, we'll talk, 
I went 2016 with my class. Dave's going to put these up. <laughs> and we had Feeney's third grade t-shirt. So again, love some t-shirts. When I, This was prior to Friends of Feeney. Or was it prior to Friends of Feeney? Friends of Feeney. I'm not sure. But Feeney's third grade. Uh, so there are, these kids are in like 10th or 11th grade now. Oh, then there's, oh the, there's the parents of the crew. There's my, my twins. Oh, my wife oh, Nicole does the photo booth. Your twins and now they're thirteen. Oh, oh my goodness! Wow. Oh, here's Time Nicole. Flies. This is Nicole and Neela finishing. Oh, I love it! Awesome. Under the, art, the balloon arch. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Oh, that's great. And then this is the kid Max. I just saw him. We do a Ghostbuster theme um, Halloween haunted forest at Wolkett School. Yes, I've been there. So that's when it's he was amazing. my student, and that's him now. Awesome. And I bet him. Aww. Will he outgrow me when he's a senior in high school? <laughs> he looks maybe. like he's going to. I think to. maybe. He might be on. Uh, yeah. I think I owe this dude 10 push-ups. Yeah. And then this is this is really cool. I like, too. You guys do Johnny's Jog as, like, a friend on Facebook, not, like, a page. Yeah. So you yeah. can friend them. And then really cool, this picture is from 2016, but, like, 2020, 2021, you could, like, reshare it. So this came back onto my oh, feed. Like yeah. It. It and pops like up. someone reshared yeah. it. And I'm I like, oh, get the cool. memories all the time. Memories, the time. memories yeah. yeah. Which I thought was yeah. great. Oh, I know. Cool. But I'm always not sure. It's like about Facebook. It's like, then yeah. you get the memories. And you're like, oh, it makes it all worth it. Yep. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. were like back and forth on page versus friends. Um, yeah. Remember? There was like I think pros there was reasons why we did it. Yeah. And we have a friend who does all our social, a lot of our social. What did it really come down to? You know, I'm definitely trying to remember. We were going to lose like... There was some, some, there was like, some reason, right? Maybe you had photos already up or? Well, we had our like friend, mm. like we had our following, right? Um, I don't know that we would have lost the I, I feel like you right? share the same, because I have a friend of Feeney Facebook page. I don't okay. see it any differently. You, you can create an event yep. as a person or a business. You can friend. Actually, maybe you can reach out and be like, hey, you want to be my friend as Johnny's job? Part of the thing might be, mm -hmm. it could be as, intimidating mm -hmm. that someone has to friend us. That was the only, uh, I think that's the, the, the limitation of it, in my opinion. That's the only thing that I could see that why we would want to go to a page, but I'm, I don't know that much about technology, but. Um, it's funny when I think back, I'm like, I know there, there was, was a, a reason. reason. Yeah, but that reason might not be existing anymore. Reason, <laughs> right, but. it's been some time. <laughs> and it started in 2012, or yes. 2010? No, 2011. 11. Yeah, so, so 2010 is when so we first So you got the idea in November, it. and it happened in March, just it like that? Wow, March. that's fantastic. It was actually kind of funny because my husband, Dan, called the town. Um, we had all talked about this, and then we went on our way. Laura had um, two young kids, right? Yeah. Did you have two? Mm -hmm. And I had one. We had babies. They were little, yeah. and um, so all of a sudden, my husband great. was like, so I talked to the town, and they said, we're a go. For this march i know i remember and he we were like, like i was like you just like executed we're like, that like we're like wait a second wait so oh okay and then it was like all of a sudden it was like go let's get them. planning we're, we're gonna go, go meet with the town and um a lot of people from the town are still there yeah we sat in your kitchen there at your old house and oh, we're like man. all right let's How oh you had three i did three molly was yes gosh i only had one time so yeah but, but yeah. yeah so it originated from there and then so we took from probably like november until that march and then we had our first johnny's jog and in your pictures yeah. um we used to have it right in west hartford like at the town hall, town hall area yep. yeah. in the parking and then, lot um uh, yeah. when the hotel came in and when our events started to get a little bit bigger they suggested why don't you have it down at Lubeck? and at first we were a little hesitant because we were like oh Right, we always have it the same. We and it's been great. It's, it's been really up. great at Blueback. It has. It's, it's good. sort of set up for events. Yeah. So it yeah, does. They block I mean, off awesome. the street. Have, like, yeah, they block it off. And, and they, they have sort the stage of moved and... us to that, like where yeah. we were getting too big. And they're like, we need to block. Yeah. You have to block off the street. And it's good. Change is good sometimes. Change you know? is. Because we were hesitant on that yeah. too, because we're very low budget. And um, we oh. want as much as we possibly can to go to these. Well, yeah. Right, because we have to close off the streets, which is which is was safe, but incredibly expensive yes. for us, for our budget. It was uh, like yeah. astronomical. Create like, some... what? And then they moved us to a Sunday, yeah. and then you have to pay like <laughs> more money on a Sunday because they get that. It's okay. They do a lot of work. People have they to get paid. Do. Right? They but do. It, um... And I will say the police department has supported us. The, the fire department has supported us. Like yes, we, everybody's been amazing. And been public works comes out, it. and they lay all the it's just you know, the safety streets and close everything off with the cones. So it turned out to be fine, but at first we are like, it was a big switch for us. We had up, never yeah. we had never closed the streets before. We just mm -hmm. had people running on sidewalks, and we had a huge storm. 
and we had to even postpone. And then they were like, all right, we got to go safety first. And it was right. Yeah, because 2016 might have been your last one at Town Hall. Because 2017, when we did the photo booth, we were next to Barnes & Noble's in Blueberry. Yeah, and that's where we are now. Gotcha. Yeah. Is that where the photo booth is going to be again, you think? I think that's a good spot for it. Barnes and Nobles? Yeah. We, yeah. Take a look at, we like yeah. it over by there. But um, that's where we've done it the last couple of times. It's a little too. shady there. So if you want more sun, I say you can uh, lobby for Ooh. a little more sun depending on, on the, the temperature side. that day. That's right. Although we have had some 50 plus degree days in March. And now we've moved it. We used to have it right around St. Patrick's Day. And now we've moved it a week later. A week um, later so yeah. now at March 27th, hopefully we get a nice day. Nice. It could be nice. It could be a beautiful day. It's like you, I had one year I wore flip flops. No, Such a hit or miss. Really? It was a, it was when we were at the town hall, but I wore flip flops. I remember. Yeah, I think one this day, yeah, yeah, one of these days I'm wearing gloves, like freezing. <laughs> no, yeah. I'm trying to promote the event, so I'm going with the flip flops. But um, oh yeah, wait, it's gonna be beautiful. Yeah, it's gonna be beautiful. Ninety, like a spring oh, day. Those, those warm days too. We the did have day some of cold ones. We get like people coming yeah. like out of the work. You're like. Whoa. Oh my God. Because people are like, let's get Sometimes out, you know? Nice like, spring. Whoa, people really came. How's that work for awesome. day of? You, you accept day of? Mm-hmm. We do. You this charge year a little more? Trying, or? Yes. We're it's trying our first year to doing that, though. Isn't it's it? our first year doing yeah. it. I think first. maybe we're going to. So we had a couple of interesting years with COVID. So 2020 got canceled. Mm-hmm. Um, and then 2021 was virtual. Um, and a combo of 2020, 2021, where sponsors just kind of some rolled over, some duplicated. But. Um, yeah, so this year, we, and I think it was also like because of um, COVID and social distancing and stuff like that, like we need to try and minimize day of reg- registration. It's really hard on our volunteers getting it all done because we, we don't know what the headcount's going to look like and then there's crazy lines. And um, now like we're, we're just going to have QR codes like on signs where people are still be registering at oh, the nice. event on your phone. Um, and then they'll just come up and get checked off. Um, at the registration table, but um, we are going to increase the price to really try and get people to register beforehand because we do a pre um, packet pickup to the Friday before at town hall, and we try to get as many people as we can to get that, that done. Did you ever too. do it at Rockledge? We, we did, did it last Rock, year because oh, of right. yeah right. COVID. Mm-hmm. It was like kind of a way to help run Rock because we just had yeah we had the I virtual event out. and was, so we were like let's host it there because you can be outside, outside. and, um, and they're one of our sponsors to. too so it was like nice to say like yeah. if you come you can pick up dinner and mm-hmm. um, and that worked out yeah worked so out. we yeah. play a game first last best worst I don't know if we can do this with Johnny's jog okay talk about the first Johnny's jog the last Johnny's jog. Your best Johnny's jog and maybe your worst Johnny's jog. Mm. I don't know. Maybe worse would be weather or something. Yeah, fall, someone fell or, or something. Or even last year. 2020 when we had to contact <laughs> everyone yeah. and cancel. Okay, sorry, we're jumping. I want to say Go. they were like, yeah. yeah, but you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. First, 2011. Yes. Mm. Planned in November, happened in March. That's amazing. Yeah, and we got the 501 Shout out to the three. dance. Oh, yes. and you got the shout to the dance. The, yeah, <laughs> no, who got the five hundred one c three? We had that was a lot of work, and that came yes. through in February, and nice. which was great just for sponsors, like because they need all that. Oh, that's so. right. I'd say um, the first Johnny's drag was pretty amazing because we weren't uh, sure. It was, it was, it was like, like that. If you, you know? build it, they were com- will okay. come. And I think that that's what my husband thought the whole time. He's kind of he goes with that mentality a lot, and I'm more like, are they gonna come? And he's like, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. like. People are coming, you yeah. know? And I don't remember our numbers, but it was a lot of friends, like a lot of local support, people, a lot of like. But we had a brand sponsor come through. Like, yeah, like we were surprised. We, set these we were shocked. Packages, and I remember being on the phone with Kelly and like naming them because yeah. we, everything became St. Patrick's Day. Oh, and we're laughing. Slowly so but surely. Hard. And yeah. we were laughing so hard as you're coming up with names, but it, we did do it. The like, leprechaun, like, the McMarathon. And then she's like, yeah, no, wait, you, right she's like, wait you do like the mm-hmm. leprechaun laugh. And she's like, I think you like the leprechaun laugh. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> we're going to go with it. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. <laughs> but it was fun. Laugh. It was really actually fun to create it from scratch. From scratch. And it was yeah. fun. And we've actually kept those names. Those yeah. have been, we've changed some of the amounts, but, um, yeah, we were surprised. We didn't know who was going to support us. Our first shirt, we have uh, ten sponsors on our shirt. Like and it's really and we keep all the shirts. Yeah. <laughs> so, 
we, um, I banged your camera. Um, but we we keep all the shirts, and so it's so amazing to look back, like the first Johnny's Jog to now, and it's amazing. Yeah. Like now, I think our we are like, company oh, that gosh, we use our, for like, our t-shirts, uh, Ransom like, Inc. Go they're great. To, like, um, or but they, um, I always say to them, "Oh my gosh, we have a couple more for the shirts," which is a good thing. But eventually, I think they're going to be like, "All right, you need to." Stop yeah. adding columns and stuff, which is such yes. a good problem to have. And I'm not yeah, trying to over that. boast yeah. for ourselves, but it's talking about the first. Yeah, hold on. This it's is the virtual. Yeah, it's the bill. Uh, yeah, this is. Last I mean, year. even for the virtual, it was amazing the, the support that came from that one. I mean, that was like, really. We would have just had that upper left hand side right there. Yeah. On the first. And um, maybe one or two more, but to see all this... those. Like, Some of our sponsors have been with us since the beginning too, which is and amazing. And they're just like our higher. Um, yeah, like, sponsors are. Um, Love top. Beachland. I was there. You love yeah. Mayboni and Clark Insurance, right? That's yeah. my husband's <laughs> company. Yeah, he's and I just great. dropped yeah, that. We, okay. we got MTMT. Oh, <laughs> Clark. Okay, I get yeah, it now. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, no, some of them have been um, with us Saint from, Peter. I go there. Yeah, yeah. We got from the very beginning. Um, Rotary, Dunkin' they Donuts, get, they, um, they that's bring a... Big a one, right? Isn't that a big one? Donuts. They bring like they bring a tent and they they do coffee, hot chocolate, munchkins, all donated for us, which for is great. Us, yeah, um, they are really yeah, they're wonderful. Steve Boyle's with. cool guy. Mm -hmm. Luna Pizza has been with us since the first uh, since the first Johnny's Jog mm -hmm. in 2011. Every year they come through with donation yeah. for us. Yeah, awesome. and the, I was mm -hmm. gonna say Omera Real Estate Group as well as Coldwell, like they're both good friends of ours yeah. that really come through on both those. Um, and Uber dog, I love Uber dog. Dan O'Brien's a great yes. guy. Mm -hmm. Oh, awesome. my dog loves mm -hmm. Uber dog. My dog loves him too. Hasn't Perry Egress, um, Kylie Egress, mm -hmm. been there since the beginning? Yeah, Perry yeah. Egress group's been there. I know. He's like, oh, SWI, um, Stanley. He's been the Exchange Club, Marty Keener. If we're not president. mentioning anybody yeah, and they're yeah, watching this podcast, we apologize. Their, this year, a lot of sponsors. He's number I 11. Mean, he's on the podcast. Oh, president of uh, the Exchange Club. And a lot of day, these. Friday, twice. We went back and forth. because. And a lot great. of these sponsors have yeah. um, even upped their sponsorship this year. Which this year has been wild because yeah. you would think after like COVID, maybe, you know, trying to get the momentum going back. And it's. People are jumping up on sponsorship. Yeah, they're going up with their Pat sponsorship. Pat from Waterbury. I oh, shouted him out last best. episode. He uh -huh. also sponsors so, a team. Oh, tell them about the thing. They have a band at, on Come the front on. lawn. So we have bands and along the course, they and they host they our host band every year. They host one of our year. bands every year. Mm -hmm. they hand, and not only do they host, they have like... Um, Amazing. They have yeah. beverages. They have like hot chocolate. They, they hand out things. They're fun. They are fun. They're town. They're on Boulevard, on the corner of Fairley and Boulevard. Nice. And yeah. now we've been fortunate to I grew up with his there. brother Dan, who's a Waterbury oh, firefighter. Oh, nice. And saw his name last time about sponsors or team. Because yeah. you're going to be a team sponsor for the Youth Little League. John yes. Jog is having a team. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that Friends was because of Pat have... Cooney. He reached out Fun. to us, yes. Mm -hmm. And I saw Pat Cooney. Mm -hmm. I'm like, Waterbury. Oh, my gosh. Are so we going to have Johnny's Jog play Friends of Feeney? Yeah. Wait, we all have to go. Oh, my And I'm going to bring my... Oh, I'm sorry about that. I'm going to bring my cup. Yep. My glow in the dark cup. That's right. Dark, we'll we bring our shirts and we'll be, <laughs> we'll be fun. Um, That'll be fun. It's going to be great. But yeah, they, we used to live across the street from them on the boulevard. Oh, yeah. We've known them since. I don't, don't know him at all, really, but I know his brother. Yeah. Quasi. Nice. Quasi. So Quasi. we all went there um, growing up. Right? One <laughs> of my, um, my college roommate's cousins own it. So we claim we get, that like, that's in Waterbury, but it's really not. It's in Middlebury. It's in Middlebury. It's in Middlebury. But, but nice to Waterbury. grow up close to it, though. Okay. That's if fun. So Eric Anderson. Quarter night. Oh, Eric and Anderson. Eric yeah. and Emily. I work there. No way. I know Eric. Blonde. Oh, that's so funny. Marty. Their you kids know Marty, just went um, to, um, but one of his sons just graduated from Providence last year. But yeah. he's his cousin was my college roommate. Oh, nice. And so when they come down, we go there. And they, he gives us yeah. the real treatment. Now they have... Um, Splash zone. But they have like, uh, what was I going to say? Little um, like huts that you can hang out in and yeah. um, you can rent. Ooh. And I should know the name for it because I'm oh, like doing a, him a disservice. Like, what do you, you know what I'm hutch, talking about? Little, like a little like cabana. Cabana. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Um, so they have cabanas <laughs> that you can like reserve you know, oh. because we get like the real treatment. My, kids, my, my daughter Katie, and you're going to like this because she's in third grade. And this was probably actually two years ago where she's in the back of the car and she's like, um, with one of our friends, we were carpooling or something, and she's like, "Well, mom, we don't go to Disney, right? We go to Classy." Yes. <laughs> that's right. Yes. That's right. That's right. <laughs> that's right. That's what my mom used you to tell me home. growing up. You were like, Eric, we don't have to go to Disney. We have Classy. I'm like, yeah, mom. Yeah. 
Sure. She's like, if you really need something different, you can go to Riverside. All right. <laughs> Riverside was a, a vacation. Oh my gosh. Us. It was amazing. I think I went twice growing up and you felt like you were like no, you were we on had, a major we vacation. Had quarter night on Fridays at Coffee. Quarter soda, quarter hot dog. <laughs> I ate so many hot dogs. And oh my dogs. god! It's like my son ride. Jack's dream. <laughs> this my had son the reversal of fortune on the ride. Oh, you didn't go on the road. I still did can't you? go on it. It's the Spin one that's one? like it spins but goes like. Oh yeah. Oh, mm. no, still can't, I can't do it. No, do that I can't do any of them. In my yeah, uh, Marty Toma runs the food. Oh, he does. That's so Eric's cool. partner kind okay. of deal. And I went to school with Brenda. For one and only time I ever bartended was at a Cossie wedding. Kevin McCarthy, another Waterbury. Firefighter Danny Dan Cooney was there. Oh, it's at the uh, where the trolley goes around the um, what's that place called? The, the pavilion. Oh. And I made like 180 cash. I was starting to like be a bartender. Like I knew this guy was coming. I'll get his drink ready. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, you know, right. I was like, like, I know what you want. Yeah, it was yeah. pretty cool. I was getting the drinks ready. I was like, I'm gonna be a bartender for the rest of my life. But it oh happened to be the goodness. one and only time, bossy. So. <laughs> Near and dear to my heart. Oh, oh my gosh, and it was passed funny. down the family. Like yeah. Eric is, it's, I think, I thought it was um, his wife, Emily's. Well, I don't know which one is part of how it all works. I'll have but to ask Sarah. Eric. So Sarah um, is Oh, it was my like my one and only time. They were like, Feeney, bring the keg from here to there. I'm like, I just get hired just to bartend because I'm friends with Brenda and Molly and Aaron and everyone else. They're like, all right, so here I am now driving a golf cart across Cossie <laughs> with a keg on it. <laughs> I'm like, all right, oh, this is a great first like, day. I love it. Oh, yeah, you're yeah, like, sign me up. Yeah, and Kevin McCarthy came across the water on a boat. It was, it was a great wedding. Oh, that's fun. That Every water It is a really sweet scene there. Like, yeah. and those homes on the other side are really pretty. Yep. And they have, like, you can go out on, like, a boat. Okay, so. it's been a couple of years. Yeah. I'm sold. I'm going to go to Quasi. <laughs> I'm going to take the kids. Like, well, I think my older kids might be starting to get a, I don't know. They've loved it for, like, so long yeah. that they'd still be into it. Yeah. <laughs> no, and, and they have water a water park now i don't water know if you park. know that and there's this big like um cup that like fills 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 and then it dumps on you oh. <laughs> so the it's like 100 like, pounds of water yeah. the kids just i've had that happen to me at a water park like, before yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like a kid's dream and it like is. my fears it's like, for it. um, well, it's well pretty cool saying. that we Friends of Feeney just yes, put in to be a thank shamrock you. shuffle. Oh, I got that today. That and the Venmo, nice. which we added this year, which is great. actually yeah, that was a nice been a really event. great way to get um, sponsorships comedy in. comedy show in, back in December. That was a new addition for Johnny Shad. Oh, and, um, it was fun. And yeah. we were like, how are people paying? Like, and then we're like, Venmo. Or Tell like, us more about the comedy get, show, getting, when and where. And... Um, we're so hoping to make it annual. So it because it's like Dan knows. Well, we were feeling a little bit confident about the numbers you know around with COVID stuff and it um, was low and, and it was low stuff. and then so my husband was talking to his cousin um Alyssa Wolf and uh Noah Savage her husband they're um comedians in New York City and they um perform at different comedy clubs and they have a big um comic circuit that they kind of you nice. know like roll with so um he was talking to them and he was like would you ever want to kind of come and do something for johnny's track and they were like that sounds awesome like yeah. we'll be there tell us when so all of a sudden we're like okay um so um he thought of art street tavern which we didn't even really know at the time our um friend from growing up's father owns the um owns art street and so he was like, oh, that would be a great place. We didn't even know they had redesigned the whole inside. And they now have um, bands there all the time and everything. So we were they not like sure that they have the perfect awesome. setup for it. And it was amazing because they have the whole stage set up. They can move around all the tables. They got rid of some of their booths before. So it was perfectly set up for it. Yeah. And um, we ended up having an amazing turnout. We actually sold out the place for what they could accommodate. We felt confident because we we're like, all right, we're going to space everybody out. And then all of a sudden, the new numbers of COVID kind of started to creep up. And we got nervous, but I think we just cut it off. There was, yeah, you know, nothing bad came out of it at all. And it safety. worked out really well. Um, and then people were really with It was like the first group. indoor events. Yeah. We kind yeah. of people on people that they were already sort of socializing with because it was a small enough, like, They were number. in their bubble. So we kept people as, like, confined to their own little groups as yeah well, yeah and they could come down and sit down and of course people could wear a mask if they wanted to mm -hmm. um but i think we made it just in time before things yeah. started kind of getting 
And it was nice to get out, I think. It was yeah. really awesome. It was a little like burst of like real life, you know? Yeah. yeah. Right before the holidays. And it was so much yeah. fun. I mean, it was really like just a cool, they had um, comedians were six comics yeah. come up and they awesome. each did about like 15 minutes or so. Mm-hmm. And um, they had a headliner and everything. And um, it was a really fun night. And it was, and it was nice to be there and for benefit. Johnny's yeah. job. We ended up raising a couple thousand dollars. Yeah. yeah. I think it was, it was really like $2,500. And, and um, very little awesome. work on Aaron because yeah. um, Arch Street was psyched to have us. The yeah. comedians who their life has been, you know, different too. So they were psyched to have something. And they were all like so cool. And They're like, well, you have some like points that we can use over at the hotel. Like they didn't even need anything yeah, from us. So it was, they were amazing. Yeah. It was yeah. really That's fun. So cool. It was really cool. And that was the first time ever doing something. Yeah, other than but the we job. said yeah. like we yeah. have to like, we've done some athleta events. Um, yeah. Shopping events because we've had some friends that have worked there that have kind of tied us into that that has been yeah. a recurring because I think yeah. sometimes we do something and we're like, actually, we could do this again so yeah. athleta has been like an angle sometimes even by angle um event and that has raised you know mm-hmm. usually over a thousand dollars per event um there too uh this was nice because it was off season from johnny's jog it was yeah. in december and it was kind of a late and it was just like you and dan really came i think what well, kind of just came out of no like i know he's the one he's like i'm gonna reach out to noah, really noah really see good. if they want to come down they live in new york city they have a little like a six-month-old baby he's like you want to come down they're like yeah Sure. They had yeah. like, you know, Dan's aunt watched the baby and they came down with their friends and they were funny. They were really, really funny. funny. Oh, I thought they were really funny. And all have their own unique styles. It was pretty yeah. cool. So, so maybe nice we can make it annual again. You know, maybe we can. Too. Yeah. So yeah. That's good. And that brings us to that we're so psyched to have Johnny Jog in person mm-hmm. this year because yeah. last year we, oh. We've totally deviated from your first, your, you yeah, know. we'll that, get there. We'll get back to right. that. <laughs> I was like, now we're bringing us back. Yeah. I'm, us bringing back. This, I'm bringing you back. Yes, I could yes. jump to the, goes, I, could, <laughs> I could jump to the worst, which was probably um, when we got snowed out. 20, and oh, the snow, snow out. out? The snow out or the 2020. Oh, yeah. We have two. No. What year was the snow out? That was bad. We had yeah. everybody booked, ready to go. Yeah, I remember going what was it? 2018 or something? I like that, or um, what did you say this was? 16 or? 17, we 17. did the photo booth for the first time. Oh. Had to have been 18. That it got snowed out? I think so. Because no, got... it was that blueback, wasn't it? It wasn't blueback. Yeah. Yeah, so it must have been 18. And we had to, to only push it a week, but that but meant it, calling our, all the our, vendors. And the bag like, papers were booked because they there was the another parade, parade that day and it was going like, on lost yeah the clown and like oh it was like all oh, of a sudden you have to call everybody good valentine the clown we've had valentine love her because she's awesome at this she's at ccmc <laughs> yep. um and that's how we met her she's the best and she was yeah. really honest with me the last time she came that like she does like it's hard to be like tying balloons and doing stuff in the freezing cold oh. and as much like she's and i think if like we were like, dra- like had nothing else. She would definitely do it. Um, but we've had other people um, mm-hmm. come through for us over the, the years. Yeah. The stilt walker, we have the stilt walker. No, can we get, oh, can we get the stilt walker? Yeah, we we do, I, mean, I, mean, I was gonna say, Kelly and I spent a lot of time calling clown houses. Oh. And looking for like, I just had a clown text me today or email me today that she couldn't. <laughs> She couldn't come up with the leprechaun. It's so great because their names are amazing. They're the like sprinkles so and um, like, like, you know, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like, well, yeah, yeah, can't clown, come, but Pringles, yeah. Pringles That's right. is coming. But it's Pringles. Not, Pringles couldn't come. Oh, my Pringles. gosh. I think yes. I've heard that one. Yeah, she's coming. But it's so great. You know, um, you're like, call, you're like, hi, I'm just leaving a message. I had yeah. a mom come in at the end of it, right before, for Valentine's Day, we made friendship flowers. And she was like, yeah. Valentine the Clown taught me how to do this. I work at CCMC. Oh, no. oh, I'm like, all right, who's Valentine the Clown? But then I looked her up. She's like, yeah, she's she really bo- well known. Bo- volunteers so much time yeah. at CCMC. Um, so shout out to Karina for thank you for coming in to help with oh. <laughs> with our friendship flowers. Oh, that's great. Then, yeah, she's wonderful, Valentine. She uh, we've seen her, you know, at CCMC. We spent a lot of time there, unfortunately, but. Um, she does kind of like float around and she's such a happy energy even like talking to her on the phone outside of ccmc um when you get more of her real personality and you're like you're just like a really like cool like upbeat like she you can tell she genuinely believes in what she does like mm-hmm. she's awesome it's great. and she did it a couple of times like more than yeah. a couple of times she's like if we could get her i mean she's yeah. i don't know if i'm sending me to the clowns no <laughs> And we'll take anyone, you know, really. And I will say, so Malin, who's come the last couple times, she was Johnny's arts therapist through, I'm trying to think of which organization, PD Pals, which is Pediatric Palliative Care. 
um, organization. And so he had a couple of different like, you know, massage therapists. And so Malin would come in with these like um, animal, like stuffed animal, like, you know, the oh. like that would like, she'd be walking up my like front walk with these things to come in and talk. And so uh -huh. she has sort of filled in and she's not necessarily clown but she's been the clown the last couple of years and she's, and she's brought too. other yeah. clowns and they they get their gear and then she was trying to find a leprechaun and she did email me friday that she couldn't find a leprechaun and i was like we're, we're good we have some teenagers <laughs> that are going to dress up for us we're going to cover that part yeah let me know what else you know yeah. friends with me i got friends so you got the gaga pit <laughs> clown no, still walker still walker, still walker. Ooh, you want a juggler? Oh, um, yeah. I mean, we'll take it all. We want a fiddler, actually. Beanie Gets. Yes. Whatever you need, Beanie Can we get a fiddler? Fiddler, yes. We Sarah need, the Fiddler. We need a fiddler. Will. <laughs> we'll get a fiddler right we now. We could. We could. I think we need a fiddler. We were just, we were saying, just saying. We want like a fiddler. We like we want some music that's not going to overtake. Yeah. Um, at the end. Really nice. Right? Mm -hmm. At the ending? Is that what you're thinking? Is that what do you have bagpipes? I think so. We do. We do have bagpipes. We're working on them right now. They're little occupied with some parades right now but oh, we have yeah. some that are hopefully coming through coming through so we have one on the course and then one that um starts down in blueback square at the send-off but then goes up to like crate and barrel and main street gotcha. at the like end so then when they get back into the finish line it'd be nice to have like a fiddler or somebody something oh, we could do a real we'll band out, too we'll get, we'll get we could do a real band <laughs> but we have one we have two bands now on the course we do yeah and yeah. sedgwick um middle school is kind enough to host us outside of the school so we have one outside of sedgwick nice. and then one at the coot will they be a middle school band is that the middle school band? no or uh, it's a band that plays there that plays yeah there. that plays yeah. outside there. Yeah. Cool. i mean that Although would be awesome we would that. love that you know, we yeah. thought like i have a former student he has a jazz band. Maybe oh. they're willing to do it. We are. Uh, we will add three bands yeah, to the course. We love like the more fun. Oh, yeah, I used to, you know, this is such a good, cool idea. I used to live in New Haven, and the Sham Rock and Roll at Toad's oh, Place yeah. it was great. Yeah. The bands, you know, that gives you a little yeah. boost. Or, oh, totally. You can, and you can hear it. Definitely pump out a little more elbow. You can hear it coming in. Yeah, and, and you can hear, hear it. You know, and too. like we think, like you run to it. You know, especially if so, you're playing your jam, you like. Oh, let's go. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, right. Especially if they're playing something that you know. But I mean, it just adds to it. You know, we like to have people pass out all these little tchotchkes and necklaces and we do face painting and everything, you know, just yeah. to add to the event, something yeah. fun for well, we're people excited. to yeah. do. As much of the know? festivities I feel like that we can bring to it. And it's grown every year. You and know, we have Irish really step has. dancers at the Ooh. event. Yeah. Mm -hmm. From, uh, it was, I should say it used to be Coogan, but it's Mulcahy. Irish step dancing um, and there's a ton of West Hartford kids that do that so it's funny I like I've already heard from some of the moms like, I know so and, they, and if not they in. see their friends you know yeah. which is fun too and they like to get dressed up in front of their friends and yeah. be able to kind Show of perform off. which is really cute and it's a little low-key compared to like some of their competitions they have like sneakers on and stuff like that um, so that's actually a really cute part of it too um, and then Kelly's aunt um, she's a DJ uh, you can and so Joan she, Dillon from Joan Light 100.5. Okay. She also has Bride's she, First Choice DJs. Nice. <laughs> um, but she's a wedding DJ. She's a DJ on, um, you know, on Light 100.5. And so she usually comes and DJs for us at the event um, and plays all, you know, and fun music, music to kind of get us going. Yeah. And yeah, it's yeah, so good. We've had Trader Joe's come and hand out food stuff. And yeah. So it's the more the merrier. Yes, yeah. exactly. That's kind of so. It's how we March twenty seventh. It's going to be a Sunday. Starts at nine a.m. and then the race starts at ten a.m. Register or ten thirty. Yeah, ten thirty. Ten thirty. Yeah. So you got a good hour and a half. To hour get and a half. And people can. Days. They yes. can be timed. So if people want to be timed, you can be timed to run. And if you just want to come and do a casual walk with friends or family, yeah. you can do that too. Do you do the chip? Somewhere on the tag. Yeah, the, so they have the bibs. The yeah, bib. mm -hmm. so race bibs, and, and there's a chip on that. Are there prizes for finishing a certain? Yes, place? we do have. Well, we have like medals more for the. Gotcha. Um, and they get gift certificates, like first and place then, um, yeah, male, first place can. female. We haven't done it by age yet. I'm. And what's the price that. before the deadline and after the deadline? I feel that's important too, so, especially yeah. this year. Well, before it's thirty-five dollars. Um, for age 14 and above. Um, age 13 and under has always been free. Um, they have the option to buy a t-shirt for $10. Um, nice. 
if you're 14 and older, t-shirts included, and it's 35. And but then at day of, it's 40 dollars for 14 and older. That's it? You're charging them five for being late. Oh, you got, you make that 10. <laughs> it's our first year, so we got to be, you know, we're trying it out. Actually, you're probably right. And you skip but, lines, and you get to pick up your stuff ahead of time if you want to, and yeah. you can just go in and Come enjoy yourself. Not and sitting in the cold with your, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's or so much. It's so much better to do it early, and it's pretty easy. Our registration site's super efficient and easy. And I love this. Uh, it's not where you go. It's, don't go where the path may lead. Go instead where, where there is no path and leave a trail. Mm -hmm. I had that, I swear, as my precept for the daily today. Every morning I do uh -huh. one. I get it from the um, oh, Wonder. So wonder does the book, Wonder. Oh, and then they do yeah. 30, 365 precepts of Wonder. Yeah. And that was mine today. And I'm you looking through. And I was like, that's kind of crazy. Oh, that's and crazy. that was your, Dan. That was my, that was my senior quote. Oh, yeah. I gave crazy? credit and to I you, Dan. I should I know. used to work at like a place called the Rag Shop, and it was like kind of like a Michael's y Joanne Fabrics more. But um, I was like bored at work, and it was like on a one of the Hallmark cards. And I was like, this is perfect because I was like a senior. No, oh, ask yeah. Matilda. Yeah. Matilda will vouch for me. That was definitely. Oh, I go, look, and then look, awesome. here's Johnny's job website, and here's the, what we're learning today, today. kids. And they're like, great. Ah. <laughs> Ralph Waldo Emerson. It's great. And yeah. um, I don't want to jump if I shouldn't jump, but um, jump. I was just going to say that we should mention our charities that we give to yes. our nonprofit organizations. So um, we have three that yearly we um, are the beneficiaries. So we have Covenant Preparatory School, which is right in Hartford. We also have the Miracle League, which saw you at the uh, Miracle yep. League of Connecticut. We saw you at the... I was a photo booth guy. Well, at the Miracle League, you were also the um, giving out the candy at the, at the Halloween. This year? At the Halloween. Sedgwick, inside this year? Inside. Oh, yes, you were inside. Yes. Yep, yep. inside. Oh, yes. Right. Yep. Yeah, so saw something. you there. Yeah. We so there. at the Miracle 100%. League um, Halloween event. Yep. Yeah, Halloween so event. Ha they Miracle League of Connecticut. We, mm -hmm. um, Big one shout of out our... to Mike Michaud. Yes, Love I know. Mike they're Michaud. great. Yes. Monique. We got to get him on. Mike Michaud, I want you to be a guest. They devote a lot of time. Yes, they're a great organization. Organizations, yeah. um, and that's where Dunkin' Donuts kind of came from too. Yep, from uh, Rich yeah, McCarthy. Mm -hmm. Rich McCarthy, who's the president, I think now of uh, Miracle League, correct? I, I don't believe so. Um, but yep, he is Great American Donut. He um, has some yeah. ownership of Great American Donut. So. No, I just looked. Every every child deserves a chance to play. Is Miracle mm -hmm. League? I love that. Awesome. Yeah. No, and it's Mike a, and awesome my wife are good friends through oh. what she does at Neat. And yeah. Mike Michaud. Okay. Yeah, well, Mike Michaud has put us in touch with you for the photo um, booth the first time. The first time, it's exactly. All coming again, mm -hmm. or Mike That's did it. it. Yeah, yep. Mike did that. Yep. And they were one of our first, so they were one of our first charities. And yeah. they, um, they had not, um, they were just building the field. So the, the funding was going to be wow. towards building the field. And now it's so cool. Like it obviously came to fruition. Yeah. Johnny played on that first team. Mike always says that, like he played on that first team. And, um, then like to see they've tapped it they do swimming and dance and it's yeah. like baseball is one of the many yeah. many things that they do for the kids that just it's a, such a great network for those children and families oh my god it's, no, it's I love it. yeah it's so okay. our models be a good friend how is mike michelle a good friend he gave us the photo booth guy <laughs> <laughs> well, and the whole Miracle League organization does so much. I mean, all of them do. Yeah. So Covenant Preparatory School, I mean, it's an amazing place. You know, it gives kids in Is there a connection Harvard there? What's um, the connection? Um, so my husband knew um, one of the either founders or one of the people that were um, really a big supporter behind the Covenant Preparatory School. And gotcha. we went in there and went to a few events there, and it's an amazing place. I mean, it gives kids um, from underserved communities an opportunity for an amazing education and a lot of them have graduated and moved on to amazing um, high schools and colleges and where they may not have felt like it was you know it's not it's not always cool to be smart or to be succeed but at covenant it is and you know you walk in they greet yeah. you and they say like oh Very thank cool. you so much and mr and mrs and they're so polite and they're an amazing group of kids and um so the families are part of like yeah the, the families the really have to get behind so the they education the schools, they help with the lunches like oh, it's a whole it's like, like a really buy-in it's a real buy-in community type like thing and it really yeah. yeah and i think that their percentages i remember that first oh, class yeah, that like, goes on when, like that went on it's like over 95 percent of these kids go off to it's a really great organization um, you know various high schools yeah and i guess we shouldn't 
So we have also the Mali and Tango Memorial Foundation, um, and they help to assist people when um, either insurance funds aren't covering anymore or things have been tapped out and they can um, supply medical equipment and other resources for families in need. Um, and Yeah, and they that. kind of bridge a gap when, you know. That's part of my families. wife's job, re reassessing yeah. and refurbishing old equipment. Old equipment. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's called rehab. So those are the three every time. Those are the three main. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we- 33 um, and a third each way, or how's it work? It's exactly, well, yeah, yeah we so split. it's exactly split three ways. Except for end. now, we decided um, a couple years ago, we were like, you know what? Let's try to do something else. Like we want to keep giving like you, right? Yeah. I mean, like we, we kind of were like, where else can we give? And um, we're like, actually, like, since we're growing and we still can give these nonprofits like a really good, like, um, benefit, we can still carve out money for another organization was kind of how we were thinking uh, without like taking, you know what I mean? Like it felt, like, it felt like we were giving still enough that we felt comfortable with yeah. it and we could build in another organization and rotate it so that something pops up that year that you're, and we're like, because we do, we work on this all year and you're like, something pops up and you're like, ooh, but we're already tied into, and we do believe wholeheartedly in the organizations that we that we fund, but um, to be able to have that option to like pull in another, yeah. it's so nice. And we call it the Clover Club Charity. Yeah. And um, so this year, the our board um, agreed on um, Hartford's Camp Current, which is an amazing organization, yeah. longstanding, I think the I longest read camp. like 125 years. And it's free for free every camp. camper. Yes, mm -hmm. which is makes it even better. Yeah, yeah, I know. So we're we're really excited to have them as one of our beneficiaries this year, sure. and, um, and and so we, we split it yeah. evenly four ways now. Nice. Mm -hmm. And then we feel yeah. like we can reach other people in the community, other you know people. And that in rotates, need and, yeah, each year. Last when year, when did you we, start the Clover Club? Club. It was four in twenty twenty, yeah. and then that event was obviously. Uh, postponed i should say so then so we then brought we the 2020 over. onto the 20 um 21. That? um friends of friends of bridget curtain um, oh, yeah. at, westmore at westmore park, park which, so they were building the outdoor yeah. school um the outdoor education area yeah, and so we area. helped to fund awesome. some of that they did a yeah. fantastic i know job i mean amazing that. and i just think that the west harper community really came together to help support them and it was nice to be part of that too yeah and so yeah you know, i talked with Tim. I, my bridget spelled the same way mm -hmm. B R G M D. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, I know, right? Yeah. Hit close, I'm sure. Yeah, and in, and for them to be able to um, just have something so positive. Mm. Um, I've been asking around to maybe so do a bingo event there or something yeah. with the outside. Oh, yeah. Because it's like outdoor learning area to make it, you know, a fun event to bring people to. Yeah, that'd be so great. We'll yeah, it, I mean, it's a really, really cool facility, and she was super tied into um, Westmont Park, so it was mm -hmm. cool, and it, we were happy when they accepted that we wanted to do it, and, and yeah, we felt good about that. Yeah. yeah, so we think, you know, it's exciting to be able to reach other I think that's wonderful, absolutely and other amazing, and Camp Current deserves it and needs it, and and they all do, right? And so that's what's so hard. And I'm sure you see it. It's like yes. where you give your money. It's like, we're just, that's why I'm glad we added that a couple of years ago. You're like, oh my gosh, there's so many there's so much places. Need. There's so much need. And mm -hmm. it's just nice to be able to at least do a small part, yeah. you know, like do something. And so that what I'd can. add to our like nonprofits is that we they are pretty like smaller and pointed. Um, so we see like, specific families that, that benefit yeah. and we can kind of share that on, like we were talk, talking about earlier on our social media pages we can we know like the impact so like firsthand and it, that's that makes what the work we do just um that much easier and just rewarding i guess overall you know yeah I wasn't kidding. Role models. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Maybe Friends, friends of Feeney yeah. role model. I, I, know, I think. Maybe. Right? I'm yeah. thinking now. Maybe you've taken the role model spot say, for right? us. Right? I, <laughs> we, we don't have this set up. We're just no, happy that you're here. Sure. I know. This is long overdue. Uh, I'm so happy no, you're this here. this is great. This is great because you do, you know kind of a little bit about what we do because it's all the behind the scenes stuff that yeah. um, a lot of people don't know and not, not, not that that's bad. You just don't know the if, you're not, if you're not the doing it. The handwritten thank yous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. The emails, yeah. the yeah, invites. Yeah, and you know, it's always so much more than 
even anyone could ever see. It's just all the little pieces and everything coming together, you know? My babysitter was coming today because my husband ended up out of town kind of last minute. And um, as she got there, I was like packing bags of like Johnny's job gear. (laughs) And then I was like, I needed to like run out to get here. And I was like, let me just finish this because it's like all in my head. I need to make sure like I don't drop that bag off to that person and that. Or the old pad on the side of the bed when you get a thought, you're like, oh, I'm going to email this person. Uh, Or me last night, I'm like, I'm just going to sit down. It's like everybody's asleep. I'm like, I'm just going to sit down and do it. And I'm trying to get our parade banners and all the, um, all the logos out. And then for some reason I decided to switch to check a date on something and I was doing it on my phone. Cause I was like, let me just do this here. I can get the logos and the whole email <laughs> went away. It wasn't in the drafts. Oh. I didn't send it all the detail, all that. I was like, oh. were you on the phone? So, I was on my phone. You got to shake the phone. Yeah. Oh, it just God. went away. You're I was like, like that's, not that's not possible. If you shake okay, the phone, so. there's an undo and cancel. Undo the oh, really? <laughs> really? Shake it. Stop. Next time that happens, just I shake your phone joking. like a lunatic. I swear. Oh really? I'm not even, <laughs> I can show you. I'll show you right now. Well, I needed to know that last night at like 1230 at night. Finally, I sent half of it and I emailed the um, I emailed the guy. Just like text some nonsense. Okay. It's almost like if you have a fit. I I like accidentally accidentally delete it. I'm here for you. Undo. Stop it. Undo cut and it comes right back. Oh my gosh. Shake it. That's that's so You get mad. You know that trick, Owen? I don't know that trick. Oh boy. Owen. Oh, he's got an answer. Shake it. It says undo. Pretty cool. That's yeah, awesome. That's well, really cool. does that work for emails too? Emails. Oh, on the phone. Can't yeah, shake your on, you, don't no, shake no, your no, computer. It was on my phone because I yeah. was like, I can just send no. these, get the logos. So up. your whole thing must have been highlighted and like deleted, and you're like, <gasps> I don't know what it was. Like, or a draft. You, if it was a Google, yeah. you could probably went to revision history, but mm-hmm. again, on the phone, maybe not. So that's what that was last night, and then I sent half of the logos, and then I was like. I emailed them today. I was oh, like, I'm gonna send the rest like, later. Ooh, yeah, no, yeah, especially I've done that night, before. Just like, just like, oh, just like my, let me get it done, you know? I buy the like, thank you cards. It's like my last one. I'm like, dear, and I mess up the first like, letter. I I'm like, oh, it's gone I know. Like that. Laura, yeah. just, gonna like mix she it. just texted me, can you order these on Rush? Our, our, I know, our, uh, and, and then she wrote postcards. She goes, this is the earliest. And I was like, don't worry. I like trying to someone some card, card stock. stock. I had my daughter. Katie, so we've come like, a long way, but we still it. kind of sometimes just piece it together as we go. So, but yeah, it's a lot yes. of fun it and is, it feels I good. Mean, it feels Kelly always really amazing money. after it's all, Not you know, that. done and we can reflect on it. And we always get, yeah. we always say right as the, you know, they start to go and the bagpiper starts playing and we say, you know, and they're off and just to watch the crowd of people go, I always get choked up. I'm and like, yeah, in the, and in like the leftover crowd, Kelly and I always find each other and we're like, where's your car? Let's yeah, go. And we go and, and we, we go, go and we like go on and we yeah, can't go on all the roads because like, they're closed. Off, like, we're like, so we like we pull off or we go see one of the bands or we watch the people go. Awesome. It's so nice to see it's it. Like nice it exhale, is like, nice yeah. because we're like, we, we, we have, we know what's going to happen. Yeah. And for us not to be able to like see some of it, it's yeah. like hard. So like we, we, a lot of times have a getaway car kind of parked. And or we, also one year we saw the people were running in the wrong direction. So <laughs> we had some people the manning the seat. It was way. before well, the roads were closed. Of the wrong place, and we're like, wait, that's not. It was because somebody wasn't all. there directing. Because I think some people thought it wasn't going off, and they went to go like check with friends that were manning another corner. It was before we had the streets yeah, closed. Some off, of I our think. volunteers were a little younger. <laughs> we Texting. Learned. Yeah, and they were like, wait, is anybody at your corner? No, we let's go. To put, like, so Laura and I dropped, drove by, and we're like, oh my gosh, everybody's going in the wrong direction. That was a bunch of years. I mean, that was a fail. That was like a major fail. Because, because all the yard signs, uh, all the mile markers for the companies were in the are opposite like direction. Trucking. And I think like the volunteers were. We went and we were like switching wait, signs. Wait, was it the like trucking trying, crew that went the wrong it, way or no, like the casual they're crew? They're like running super fast, but then they yeah. lead everybody. So then, so we then the like, whole event is going the wrong way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and the only the reason it really shoes. mattered was because that's a kind of confusing and kind of a uh, problem. And you're definitely but, not doing three. You're you're cutting it in half. Yeah. So you're not getting a 5K. But then either. the mile markers that show everybody, like, like the our sponsors. sponsors, were printed on one side. So everyone's running <laughs> past, like, blank. We're just like, what's going on? So you oh, learn that as you go. Fail. That's our whole thing. Oh my We're, gosh, yeah. yes. That hasn't happened for a bunch of years. That hasn't. Really. That was one of the first years we learned early on. Like, don't 
put like teenagers on the course because they want to hang out with each they other. They are really great at many, their, many things. They are, and they've been huge. But they also and, don't like to probably be out on an island. So the, if they're on their corner and they feel like it's been a while, no one's kind of coming back. Gonna, they're like, let me go check with my like, friend at this corner, see if anybody's coming yeah. by, you know? And then all of a sudden we got people going. <laughs> no, but we've had some amazing high school uh, we volunteers. Have, we, and we really still did. We got them yeah. signed up again this year too. Different. And we love yeah, having like the schools. Connor's lacrosse. They help, yeah. soccer, mm -hmm. I think. Congress yeah, lacrosse home, helps um, to put together all of our too, has bags. Contacted us. We got to find a spot for them. Yeah, I mean the community be has been amazing. It's just like everybody comes together to help us out. Yeah, and people are so generous with their time. It's really yeah. great. we have people that help clean up the course. Um, the mm -hmm. Connor boys team does that. They sweep it after, like to make sure all the garbage is like so taken cool. care of and yeah. stuff like that. And it's a good thing for the kid. Like I want my kids, and now my older two are in middle school and. Um, it's nice to give them like different stuff to do because I'm like, you can do like the CCD kids used to mm -hmm. do this stuff. Like, yeah, now you can yeah. sit around with Daddy on the table. <laughs> I know. I think my kids want jobs this year yeah, too. Yeah, right. I, know. I think it's like they're they just getting and, older. Yeah. They're not the baby. But it's also really good for them to see, like, I mean, especially for you, for your kids, but also for your students. You know, yeah. they see the giving back and they see how you said you talk about being a good friend, doing things for the community, stuff like that. I mean, it's so important. It's just like yeah. it's it's the most I it's important. I, I mean, I know Matilda Baron. She's a big fan. My fave. <laughs> yeah, I can't like, say that. Can't I know. I was like, Ooh. <laughs> oops. Cut that on. <laughs> My favorite new kid in third grade. You know, right? Named Matilda. Named Matilda. And that's why the whole Welcateer thing came up because um, we were talking about because they used to be over at the same school as my kids over at Duffy, and I was talking to her um, to Becky, and then I said something about, oh well, gosh, you know, I'm so partial in a way, even though I love Duffy, you know, it's great school, all the schools are great. I said, but you know, because I was a walketeer and she was like, a what? I was like, a walketeer. She's like, what's a walketeer? And I was like, oh, oh. <laughs> that's what we used to call ourselves. Cause you know, we were cool. Can't be like I'm a walk Speaking eagle. Speaking of walk and Matilda. I was oh, going to say Cy go Hess, isn't he there? Aren't they? You were talking about him being on. He's walk it. They're walk it now. He has my oh, good friend. Right. He's in, they just moved into yeah. that neighborhood. Yeah. Bowden has Mr. Yeah. Browse, Steve okay. Browse, my buddy. Uh, we talked about yeah, it. he's related to Kelly Browse. Kelly Browse, Bugby yeah. principal. And their mm -hmm. son is a friend of mine, oh. son Patrick. Michael Browse. Mikey, Tommy, Johnny. Yeah, they got all the same names as me. Well, we know what? a Mikey. We've got a Tommy, Johnny. Really? Yeah. <laughs> but you have? I have a Tommy and I have a yeah. so you both John, but it's Jack. And... I always forget that he's Yeah, John, so we call Jack. John Jack. So, and always it's Jack. Um, so you have a Tom and a... a Tommy, a Jack, and a Lily. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we've Katie. got Johnny, Tommy, Molly. Katie, Patrick, Patrick Bruins. Katie there. hangs out with Matilda. Katie's Matilda's buddy. Fletcher hangs yeah. out with Patrick. Yes. Oh my God. They are just. And who played basketball the other day? Pat, Patrick. Or no, no, the girls. I went to Matilda's no, that game. was Katie. That was Katie. Katie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Katie and Matilda are on the same team. But Fletcher and Patrick have played, but I don't think Fletcher's on. Pe Fletcher's not playing. Um, he was doing like some sort of clinics, and I think that it, that it was the basketball. But if you didn't like know to sign up at whatever time. Um, Six months well, in Katie's advance. A <laughs> Katie, she Katie was, was a baller. She's a little like she taught herself how to she ride her own bike. She had a lot of energy. <laughs> she just gets on one day. She's a oh she's a yeah. athletic she sweater. Right? Call her Crazy Kate. <laughs> Okay, we don't know where she's going, but she is like, it's nice actually to see her channel. Like, I thought she'd be like up on stage, to be honest, because she's like, um, she's that type of kid. But she's not, she's, she would have stage fights. She's turning into a different type of kid than I would thought. And she's channeling it in sports. And I'm like, go, oh, go. Yeah. And yeah. you know, you gotta she gotta channel it into, into somewhere. Yes, into and Dan something. was coaching. He was coaching, yeah. Yep, awesome. He gets, um, so I saw Matilda and things. Hannah, two, my former student. I taught second grade last year. So I had Hannah on one team, Matilda on another team, and they're going against each other. Dan was mm -hmm. Matilda's coach or Hannah's coach? Matilda and Katie's. On the same team. Yeah, gotcha. they're on the same team. Yeah, yeah. Becky yep. was giving me the rundown. Yes, and he uh -huh. coached K uh, Molly's um, basketball team, and they were the Bobcats, and they, he like fell in love with coaching like third and fourth grade girls basketball. Oh yeah. He has a framed picture and Becky like goes wild like like on his dresser. They when she was up to, because the kids had put on some sort of show upstairs and she she's in our bedroom. She's like, does he have a framed picture of the Bobcats? And uh. so then when Katie and Matilda's age came, he ended up with the name the Bobcats again. It's like the Bobcats hey. all over again. It gets challenging because so my go. one of my daughters plays eighth grade girls. Oh okay. every time. Water, go get some water. Instantly on the phone. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, you just got off the bench. Who are you texting? It's in the middle of a game. Texting my mom. Oh my god. What are you, what are you texting your mom for? Yeah, he's like, isn't she over there? 
<laughs> it's like just talk to her the game. So we got a game. So we got a game. Or first, let's do. We talked all this school. Connor Wolketeers, favorite mm-hmm. teacher. Teacher for 18 years. Nine mm-hmm. years in where I went to school. Nine years where my daughters went to school. Teaching is a big thing. Teacher. Yeah, I feel like you're going first on this. I yeah, can go first. Is it a Wolketeer Kelly's teacher? teacher. It is. Enter- is it? She just entered. Right. It is. So. Um, I don't know if it's a favorite teacher or just the most memorable one. So, um, so did you know Mr. Malley, the art teacher ever at, or ever hear of him over at Walcott? So, um, Mr. Malley was an amazing art teacher and it was always really fun to go to art. And, um, what he would do around Halloween is transform the whole art room into like one of those haunted houses where you have to like put your hand through the, like the brains. Did you know that? Um, so, you know, and you could touch with the eyeballs, great. whatever. But as a kid, it's the most amazing thing. And I still remember, like, the music and the songs and, like, everything. Just, like, he made it, like, yeah. a transformed. And you realize, and you know, because you're a teacher, it's like, they ha- like teachers have such an impact kids. on, yeah. I mean, yeah. it felt like such a fun, welcoming environment. And it just is, like, an amazing memory. And I still remember. That's or, like, cool. or we sing songs from, like, that, um, from music. Like, we had Miss Rovetti. Oh my gosh, I haven't said that name in a long time. But um, it was like, have you seen the ghost of Tom or something? And one of my kids came home and they're like, that's not the lyrics. Like, it's this. And I was like, no, it's not. <laughs> and they like, played it, it on YouTube. I'm like, Miss Rovetti says it's this. Okay. But um, no, it was great. And Walt, it was great. It was a nice, like, small school. You know, I just remember so much of it. I remember all my teachers. I just remember. But I do remember that as being just so much fun and he didn't have to do it probably you know yeah. and it was like it just shows like, like that extra time and energy to, to read and that extra effort classroom. you know yeah. and that yeah. extra just effort to, to just do it. something yes. for the kids and you realize like how much kind and I of see it with my kids now too it's like insane the amount of effort that ki- that the teachers put in yeah for the, for the kids. and all and teachers do yeah. and so to do something even above, above and beyond. Yeah. You know, I mean, I think about like our kids, um, gym teacher, like they just love gym and it's like, it's so fun. And they go to the yeah. after school sports and they're just like, just love it so much. And you're like, oh, that's amazing. Like you don't, you don't have to put that much energy and effort into something. Yeah. But when the teachers do, it makes a huge yeah. difference, you know, they'll yeah. remember probably some of their teachers forever too. Yeah. It's like, oh, I'm not going to remember how Mr. Feeney got me ready for this math test. You know, they're going to remember... <laughs> The fun things that the we're doing things. that day. Yeah. So like class trips. Or they're so gonna the remember like the walk at Forest the... too. I mean, some of the effort that gets put into that is amazing. I I've mean, never like actually been, but the I've families so do it. and those yeah. scenes. I mean, oh, yeah. we went a couple years ago, it must have been pre COVID. It was I was like, Why haven't I not been yeah, here before? We should do so that. cool. My, it was really Tommy fun. We went this year, my son Tommy and he came yeah. with like a full like um, do you ha- have you ever had any of the Sinclairs? Yeah. Okay, Max. Yep. Um, he was like, he's like Max, like jumped out of this like thing oh, that yeah. they created. And I'm so like, every Monday and so Thursday, easy. I have recess duty. Max and I compete at the playscape for chin ups. Oh. <laughs> oh. He beats me. <laughs> One every thing time. I could not oh, ever do. <laughs> I started the year doing three. Energy. I'm up to eleven now. Oh. Oh my God. Hey. Max destroys me. Max, Max is giving Shout me out like, to Max. And James is going to be a podcast second. guest. Oh. And James helped sponsor, give money towards, so we can be a sponsor of the Little League team. So that's oh, James. Okay. So I nice. shouted out James last episode, too. Yeah. They're James, you owe me. Such a good family. They went <laughs> to fantastic. preschool with my crew. Um, but Janine's awesome. And, yep. um, Wonderful family. Love them. Yeah, they're really good. So, yeah. Um, but Max and Katie were really good buddies. And Matilda, they were all in preschool Oh, yeah, so, together. yeah, they knew each other. Matilda mm-hmm. and Max knew each other yeah. coming in because Matilda was new. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and why am I blanking on his name? I drove one of her sons home from, like, uh, um, her older guy. I'm totally banging on his name. I don't know. Um, Parents' name? No, Janine's son, um, Andrew? Andrew. Gosh, why couldn't I remember his name? I was like, Tommy, I had him in my He's older now, though. <laughs> yeah, he's older. So he's yeah. the same age as my son, Tommy. And he he was up at Mount Sun- uh, Ski Sundown. And we drove him home the other day. And yeah. him and Katie chatted the entire way. He's just such a good kid. You're like, great. so chatty. Yeah, my brother's name is Andrew, so that's why I remember. Yeah, I know. Andrew, I'm just bad. Kid. I'm bad with names to begin with. But. And so do you, I know we're going on to the next thing here, but do you have um, Kingsley Gallagher? Yes. Is he in your class? Kingsley's in my class, so too. So when I said I need to talk to my friend Mike, that tell him that Walk of Tears, 
Mike is Kingsley's dad. Come on, Mike Gallagher's a, yeah. a woke a terror? Yeah. He never told me this. <laughs> Come on. Oh, I should text him right now. I shout him oh. out every episode, too. So, Mike, um, yeah, so we still, that's how we refer to ourselves. Oh, Mike, Mike does. So, next time you there. see him, you should be like, something about the woke. <laughs> 100% is the first thing I'm doing. Oh my god. So you're a little are you? Yeah, you're a little So yeah. I thought about it afterwards because I knew Becky had said that. Um, no, he that... shows up with the 1992 Dream Team hat. Oh, Jordan yeah, ones. yeah. Oh. I'm like, I like this guy. One of my friends said to me once, like, wait, that's your friend? He looks so young. I was like, wait, what are you saying about me? <laughs> but yeah, he's kind of like styling, you know? And I'm well, like, oh, UConn. you're making me love so like, has like UConn. every Yukon hat. Yeah. It's like, don't talk to him if they lose, you know. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh, Mike Gallagher, Wolketeer. Wolketeer, yeah. Uh, he kindergarten. Always, he always orders some Known him Jackson. since kindergarten. That's his name yeah. popped through for gear. Kindergarten. He's, a, he's come to Johnny's Jog every year. I was going to yeah. say, he orders that gear. Yeah. Got he got the tie-dye. He's the tie-dye. <laughs> the adults yeah, don't really they, rock the tie-dye that much. We adults that buy the tie-dye, and so I was Mike was rocking the tie-dye. Nice. Yeah. He could pull it off. <laughs> he can. He's young, you know, apparently. I got a fire old for friend. Finn. Finn, uh, Finn Friday. Yes, he's in your class, oh, yeah. right? I got yeah. so, Everybody I got loves Finn Friday. Yeah, you do. Crew. I got Finn. I've got that. I've got that tank top. Everybody loves Finn Friday. I have the tie-dye, but I got tie-dye. I have the tank top, too. Oh, the tie-dye. I don't have the tank top. And I have the sweatshirt. Rick Daly was a guest. I think she's like episode. 12 or 15. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She's fantastic. Yeah. Love she's her. She's great. Yeah. yeah. And she, they were at our, at our oh, they, preschool. Yeah. So well. when I had her on, mm-hmm. she leaves and she goes, you need to have Derek slap. <laughs> Johnny's <laughs> jog. Thank you, bro. And yeah, someone you. else. And here yeah. we are. So thank you, Brooke. Thank, thank you, Brooke. Brooke. Thank you, Brooke. Thank you, Brooke. Shout out to Brooke. I meant to text her before this. <laughs> We're going. I mean, because she really pushed for it last spring and the event had just happened and I sort of lost track of it. Um, so this is this is perfect. That when it's my son service. Jack was in school um, at Whiting Lane, um, Finn was not in his class, but like part of the, so the kids used to be outside afterwards and um, they used to kind of just like run around and go to the free little library, run in, run around, run all around. Yeah. And so it was so cute. And now I'm like, oh my gosh, these kids are in third grade I now. I know, getting older. Like, oh, they were in preschool yeah. and that and felt like see. not that long ago. Oh, like Rosie crazy. is in with my son Tommy, seventh grade. So Gosh. that's when we met them. And Finn and Katie were like in bucket seats of babies at the preschool. Yeah. So it's crazy to think like that they're in that they're as old mm-hmm. as they are. Third grade's but a great grade, grade though. Love it. Love yeah. it. So I got hired in fifth grade, did that one year. Yeah. They're like seniors. Like, Mr. Finn, we don't do it that way here. <laughs> yeah. Third grade for five, went to second for two, and now I'm back in third grade. Yeah. Right where I need to be. I feel like third grade's a really a great more grade. Independent. Yep. Like write a little longer, read a little yeah. longer. I think it's like I think it's a really things start to come together. Perfect yeah, balance of like you're not, you're not too old, you're yeah. not too young. Yeah. Like, you're not learning to read, you're reading to learn. Yes, mm-hmm. I heard that this year. And you're or, not like already moving on to middle school like my son I, now yeah, in fifth, fifth grade. Graders, he's like, can't wait to Sedgwick. I'm like, slow down. Yeah, <laughs> and then kindergarten I wouldn't dear because they're blowing noses and tying shoes all day. Like I know. A third's a nice balance. It's yeah. a certain. I can say that because I have a third yeah. grader. You yeah. know, it's like yeah. we both do. So I can. All right, do... we got two games. All right, we got one for pride. This is Crazy Questions, sponsored by Donut Crazy. What's your favorite donut? Donut Crazy, Farmington Ave. Oh, my kids always get these. Mm. I don't even. This is Irene, I don't know my favorite, but 10. I love all donuts. We'll, we'll go with all, Hi, Mrs. except Moran, for the bacon one. Would you rather have a hundred girls or a hundred boys? Oh gosh, that's. You know this person. <laughs> Hundred girls or hundred boys for like a teacher? Oh, for like kids, like actually. (laughs) On the day, I don't think I really have to answer that. What's your favorite? What's Patrick's favorite sport? Oh, basketball. Molly's favorite sport. Soccer. Tommy's favorite sport. Football. Katie's (laughs) favorite sport. Ah, soccer. Would you rather have ninety pieces of worth food or not a bite of food? Ooh. I'll take the worst food. Yeah, take, take the worst food. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the yeah. worst. Would, would you rather have an worst. apartment or a mansion? Um, I say mansion, I guess. Would you rather read twenty books or write twenty books? Read twenty books. That's mm-hmm. a good question. All That's right. Sophisticated for third grade. Do you like Minecraft? And um, these are all me. We'll, 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 we'll go. We'll do a fire away at you, and then we'll fire away. Okay, yeah, go. Do you like Minecraft? I don't really know it. Ooh. What's your favorite exercise? You just hurt some kids' feelings with yeah, not knowing yeah. Minecraft. <laughs> do bo- do Dan's like the same thing? Yeah. Do the, the dance. <laughs> I did write that. I'm like, so this is Lauren Kelly. Do and- you like the same things, uh, kind of? Yes, Football, Notre do. Dame. They're very similar. They actually are. Notre Dame. Except for Patriots, Giants, they right? They like an IPA from this place. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Cody Street. 
That's yeah. right. Mo and Low. Or Mo and Low. <laughs> what was your connection to Mo and Low? That was you, to... Mo and Low. Oh, so when did we meet? No. So Mo and Low. Mo and Low are the dogs here, but you yes. knew oh, someone. Oh, Mo's a dog too? So I... Low is Cody's dog. Oh, Mo I is Will's Mo. dog. <laughs> That. And he just threw in Mo, and I was like, "Stop!" My so my sister was is Maureen, and I'm Laura, and she went by Mo. So like by default, I became Lo. She's the so younger sister. As I was a kid, <laughs> of course, I just like wrote. I was Lo, and she was Mo. So we were Mo. Wow, Mo. perfect. And it's crazy because uh, now yeah, that's you're gonna have to drink that every time you come here. Mo and Lo, here we are. Mo and Lo. Look at the camera. Mo and Lo. <laughs> Mo and Lo. <laughs> the junior sister. No. Okay. <laughs> Dog life. Yeah, in your dog life, <laughs> reincarnated. All right. Do you exercise? Oh, I'm starting to. No, I <laughs> no, I, I I do. I fluctuate. Yes. Would you eat, rather eat pasta with sauce and no meatballs, or pasta and sauce with meatballs? Mm, no meatballs. Yes. <laughs> Would you rather drive a Lambo or a Ferrari? Oh, Lambo. Do you think you would run? Like it? ever since Back to the Future, I'm like yeah. I've got to, got to go with the Lamborghini. Is that what you mean by Lambo? Yeah, Lamborghini. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Tom, but that's a DeLorean Patrick and Back to the to Future. I know, but it's like similar, so, right? The there, doors gotcha, come gotcha. up. It's okay. kind of like that. I don't, I don't <laughs> put you on blast, and everyone, but that's a DeLorean. I know. I know. <laughs> what, do you think you'd be able to run if you had three legs? Uh, maybe. Yeah, faster, yes. Probably. Yeah. Would you rather have four legs or four arms? I'd rather have four <laughs> arms. Would you rather a cat or a dog? Mm. Ooh, I gotta go dog because I have clover. It'd be mean to say otherwise. <laughs> clover. Would you rather have 18 toes or 18 fingers? Oh, 18 toes. Would you rather have eat your worst food for a year or no food for a year? Oh my God, no food for a year, but I wouldn't make it. <laughs> my worst food's mayo, so I wouldn't want to eat that for a year. <laughs> mayo. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, what's your favorite exercise? Did we tell you? Mm, what's running. What's your favorite holiday? Oh, holiday, Christmas. Would you rather speak Spanish or would you rather speak French? Spanish. Would you rather eat ice cream? Back to you. Would you rather <laughs> eat ice cream or for the rest of your life or pizza for the rest of your life? Mm. I go pizza, but those yes. are probably my two favorite foods. Yeah, so gotta go pizza. pizza though, would you rather I have Dan's pizza. name be Bob or Dave? <laughs> 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 That's classic. <laughs> Chase. Bob or Dave. Dave. I think I'm going to go Bob. Oh my God. I have to go Dave because Bob was like, Bob was the great grandfather. So, you know, it's like, like, I need to really change it up if it's not Dan. You should just go call him Bob now. All right, Chase. Next time I see him, I'm going to say, hey, Bob. (laughs) (laughs) What's your job for both of you? Uh, what is my job? You can go first. <laughs> well, now after being home with my kids for 10 years and working some part-time things, I my kids tell me I have two jobs. One is Johnny's job, although yes. that's mm-hmm. not really a job. But they say, Mom, wow, you have two jobs. And now I just started working as a para in the library and in um, classroom para over at Braeburn. Nice. Yeah. And I will say my kids and Johnny's job are nice. my jobs. So and that is a big job. job. Yeah. I mean, it's funny. Like, you wouldn't think, but... Like if I could get paid, I could really call it a job. You know, <laughs> seriously, <laughs> because it's a lot of work. If you could yeah. have a superpower, what would it be? Hmm. Hmm. To see into the future. Oh, nice. Right. I think making everyone happy. That's a good one. That's on Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> What's your favorite food? Pasta. Mm. Pizza. Do you have a favorite it, restaurant? Will you. you go on record in West Hartford? Favorite restaurant? Hmm. Some people like, but Chief was like, I gotta eat, don't I? Or Ronnie, you know, they're like, I can't say, I can't say that. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, 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 well, I, I can run down our pizza places. I can yes. say, we I can really say, like, um, we like. Lily is Luna Pizza, West Hartford. My first job, second job when I was 17. And um, so, so Luna Pizza for Lily, um, Tommy Jimmy's Pizza. And um, for me, probably Joey's. Ooh, now Grandma Park Pie. Lane used to be Park Lane used to be right up in there. It might still be. And Jack um, is kind of like in the pet face. Uh, <laughs> like pet pet face. Have you, so how do we say the place that opened up in the parking lot back there? That place that changes around a lot oh, is yeah. it Zephyr's? Oh, Zephyr's. Oh, Zephyr's. Yeah, we went there. They were awesome. showing. They were showing like um, Jaws. Fan. My kids were super excited when we ate there. <laughs> My daughter's like, like, oh, oh. I was like, it's okay. 
She's fine. I was like, no, it's good. So I, uh, Becky, back to Becky Barron, she recommended that on Friday, and we had it um, multiple times this weekend. <laughs> it's also fun to go into Zephyr's. I like it that is. location. We, had it, we went to that Saturday, and then oh, is that where you went last night? We were like. I went to Whole Foods and there was like nothing yeah. pre-made available anymore, and I was like, "We're ordering this stuff again." Yeah, that's <laughs> a good I've never spot. Tried. I've never it's tried good. It. It's good, it's and I love good. that spot back there. And you can like, get it by the slice and stuff. So it's, yeah. yeah, and they have soft serve ice cream. Ooh, oh, I didn't know that. Pizza and okay. ice cream. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, we time. go to Joey's Grandma Pie. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like Joey's. Mm -hmm. No, no we cheese. tried from Joey's the other day. Is the Detroit, Detroit Pie? Oh. Detroit Motor City. We had Detroit with just with um. We put our own stuff. We did like ricotta. Yeah, and um. And caramelized onions. Um, nice. It was really yeah. good. Good to know. Yeah, totally different. It's not like really like pizza. It's more yeah. like almost focaccia feeling. Yeah. Yep. It's really yeah. good. I have a kid yeah. that's gluten free too, so we can be a little picky. And uh, Joey says a good gluten free pie. That's nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. What's your favorite drink? Mm. And movie. Coffee. Yeah, coffee's good. <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably go with Sauvignon Blanc. Nice. <laughs> My favorite kid movie, I'd have to say Back to the Future too, But um, adult movie is hard because I don't know. They used to make them so good. But I feel like if I could reflect on a movie from growing up, it would have to be Back to the Future too. Love Back. We watch that at least once a month. I like all the Back to the Futures, but yep. it goes two, one, then three. That's my I'm order. On my those. kids just, I'm trying to think, they just watched like an old school movie that we hadn't seen um, in a while. I'm like blanking on names so you can keep going. Karate Kids. Oh, they do. They did oh Karate my God, Goonies. Oh, I so love Back to the Future. Did, I love um, watching movies Goonies. like, you gotta watch this. Not so good. Then they have that one in the car, actually. Although I had my kids watch Flight of the Navigator because I thought it was so, so awesome growing up and my kids were like, mm, yeah. Is that the one where like, oh. the big dog? Is that? No, Never Ending Stories. Yeah. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> I'm not That's a big fan of that one. No. Okay. No, yeah. Flight of the Navigator was with like um. Oh, you know what? It was po Problem Child. What's with Fred so Savage? Oh, Problem Child, weekend. so good. I My kids love it. I forgot about it. Wait, you should and have your kids watch Gremlins. Actually, it's kind of a little, you mm, but um, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> My kids loved it. it. it Problem is, Child, so good. I yeah. hadn't um. We yeah, thought about that this weekend. And well, sometimes you just throw on some of these eighties shows, and they're like PG. The PG like, is weird. Mm -hmm. no. The PG <laughs> is a little <laughs> too much. You watch Indiana Jones. It's PG. It's scary. You know, they're reaching in the dude's chest. Yeah, and it's a go go go. Yeah. And you're like, this is PG. And they're just like up the, and Welcome you're like, I don't know what PG. to, yeah. Or it's Uncle Buck. So you're like, yeah, we we'll watch Uncle Buck. Oh, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh, you know what? I'm going to turn this off and preview the rest of this. Yeah. Wait, what? I forgot what happens in Uncle Buck. It's just a little, um, it's the word. A little risque at times. Yeah. yeah. Dating. Some words. It starts off with a lot of, um, a lot of swears, actually, Uncle Buck. Just right out the gates and call Calkin, letting them fly. Or Looney Tunes. Like, oh my gosh, have my kids love that? it. And you're like, and ooh. it's like really bad language. Ace Ventura. Yeah. We tried to watch oh, recently. And there's some parts really in there you're bad. like, oh boy. Well, even, even that's how my kids first learned some stuff is from Back to the Future. Because I didn't realize there's, um, there's a lot of language. So how is dodgeball? You, because I have Ooh, yes, I don't know. Right? So I haven't like seen that Although since the ratings, I was younger. But the ratings and are Patrick real now. Patrick said to now. me the other day, he goes, Mom, my new favorite movie is dodgeball. And I was like, eek. Mm, yeah, you were like, mm, I'm not sure about that. that. <laughs> I'm like, I but the know. ratings are real now. Now if they're like, that's yeah. R, you're like, that's R. That's R. Now yeah. if it's PG-13, yeah. you're like, that's PG-13. Yeah. Before, they're like, this is G. And you're like, wow, I don't think I'd let my 13-year-old watch that. The, back in the 80s, anything would fly, right? They're just like, oh, yeah, that's PG. Yeah. You're like, mm. Golden Child, Eddie Murphy had a classic. I'm like, but it starts off soon. Yeah. I was like, oh, turn, delete, delete, turn yeah. off. Or you're turn like, off. shut your eyes, shut your eyes. And that was even it with. Um, or you fast forward the parts and they're like, why are you fast forwarding? Yeah, we were, I don't know. When we were doing Problem Child, there was some stuff that. We or like, Forrest Gump's classic, eyes. but you're yeah. like. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Edgy stuff out. there. Yeah, we were watching Forrest Gump was on TV the other night, and we yeah. stumbled upon it, and I was like, oh, I, I wish it was on TV; so it would have been better. Yeah. All right, you guys are best buds, and I'm gonna now. I'm gonna have to your enemies now, your rivals. This is a game for a prize. Ooh, I love prizes. this. Is called Incoherent. They play it every Friday. Incoherent with Beanie. This is sponsored by Weeha Roasting and Brewing. Weeha Brewing and Roasting. Oh boy. My new favorite place, I think. Mm. Yes. I love this yeah. place. Hopefully you come back. I will. Again, Will does the beer. Cody yeah. does the coffee. I love it. Thank you again to Direct Line Media. We're in the game's incoherent. What minute are we on? 40 minutes? Hour and a half. Hour and a half. Longest <laughs> podcast ever. <laughs> you just broke a record. Is he serious? I, are you kidding? I, I think we're a little... Like, I have to text my babysitter. I know. I'm like... Oh. <laughs> All right, we'll have to play the speed round. 
Oh, time flies my husband always tells fun. me I can talk too much, but now yes, I realize. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> so incoherent, okay. game of gibberish. Okay. You'll say the words out loud, say it a bunch of times, and you'll end up getting it. So say that word. It's like bench warmer. Oh, bench warmer. Boom. Bench warmer. You got <laughs> oh, it. Fun. So again, speaking of PG and R, this is the family version. Okay. They play an adult version here on Friday. Oh. So, say it out loud too. Because speaking out loud is okay. the best part. Um, you have it. You said it. There's only one You just said right after dinner. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh. Hold on. <laughs> You're saying it. We gotta say it out loud, though. There's always rum for tea's hurt. Yeah. Laura, what am I saying? There's always rum for tea's hurt. There's always rum for tea's hurt. Said after dinner. There's always room for dessert. Oh. You're pretty good. Because you know, if you read it, someone else can hear it better, right? Yes. PowerPoint. presentation. President? It's being, it's great being on this side. Bow, It's a class demonstration. <laughs> this reminds me of back in, in my own. Microsoft. I was saying back in like college when you play games sometimes and like you have to do one where you like have to pick everything like yeah. this. I was yeah. like, this reminds me of like, um, bow, okay. PowerPoint presentation. Oh. You can do me too. Well, oh my God. Oh, and the uh, um, presentation. Um, yeah. Oh, PowerPoint presentation. Boom. Ah, okay. <laughs> oh. You what? You have to what? A carpet? I have like a bunch of this one. Am I Yeah. You could give it. Walt there's Disney. Two, there's two clues. You could give a clue. Oh, I'm just like, I'm a No, well, just like right now. <laughs> I'm a fast learner. <laughs> just kidding. No, I was actually <laughs> thinking a long time. We'll play the three, and then you guys got to go. It was so boy good. Boy Felicia. Song. Oh, you, so you just said it. Oh, boy Felicia. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I think I'm going to win, just by the way. <laughs> All right, so. Okay. Clean up, babe, for yours. When you're messy. Okay, clean your. A common parental demand from a parent to a child. Clean your... Wait. Clean up. 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 Clean up after yourself. Ah, Can't give it to anyone. Sorry. Okay. Happy, Happy New Year. Year. I got it. Oh, <laughs> I was in on that. Um, pillow pets. Um, no, 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 no. Snuggly toys. Pillow pets. Yeah, I don't know that one. <laughs> mm. Mm. Say it out loud. Mm. <laughs> mm. A show I'm with a going. tiny horse. Pony. Oh, My Little Pony. My Little Pony. I gotta be with her, sorry. <laughs> I said it first, so that's fine. That's a pity one. That's fine. First, first day off school. First day off school. No, first day of school. All right. Winner. <laughs> Winner killed me. Winner. Well, we didn't have a lot of time. We might have come back, but you know, the whole carpool thing. I didn't thing make it come back. I was really at zero. So, yep. Yeah. Oh. Free beer from Weeha Brewing and Roasting. Oh. So, you definitely oh. got to come back. Congratulations. Yes. Oh, me for winning. Thank for you. Winning. Or you're bringing the dance. We are all you bringing bring, the dance. Bring Bob and Dave. <laughs> Bob, Bob and Dave. Dave. I'm <laughs> Kelly so and Dave, funny. Laura and Bob. Um, oh thank you. I'm this so was sorry very. That this no, was fun. I think we, we both talked. Talk. You know, when you said the time, I was like, oh my gosh, like, what are we going to talk and about? You got no, so I mean, nervous you and you're like, I usually like only hour, talk for three minutes. I was like, I, I know. know. I could only talk for three minutes on the news quickly, but you guys did an hour and a half. You broke a record. This is yeah, awesome. a, a lot this of editing for Owen, right? Yeah. Episode 42. Yes. Maybe just like a little, a little editing. Okay. We're we'll here. take a little. A lot of cuts. No. <laughs> Not at all. Episode 42. We're here with 
Lauren Kelly, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for having us. It was us. wonderful Honestly. chatting with you. Thank you. Great. Again, Me role too. model status. Um, and you. And you. We love Queenie. Honestly, you were great. Thank, thank you, you so you very much. much. That means a lot. I feel like Queenie is like just booming. I see this stuff everywhere. We'll try. We'll try. Be a good friend. That's our motto. Be That's a good right. friend. Again, be charitable. Be Hold the door. Be complimentary. A mm -hmm. um, couple of events. Taste of Elmwood over here, March 7th. Get your tickets in soon. Proceeds are going to go to Friends of Feeney. The parade, March 12th. Mm -hmm. Johnny we'll Drive there. will be marching. Mm -hmm. Friends of Feeney yep. will be marching. Friends oh, of Feeney will. will be marching. Awesome, awesome. We'll That's see you there. And then we'll see you there. March 27th, Johnny's Jog. That's right. 35 That's bucks. Right. Get it in yep. soon and come by the Friends oh. of Feeney photo oh. booth. That's yeah. right. Or you might, fully you might accessible. See on stilts. Hey, we're getting the stilts guy. <laughs> and the fiddler. Oh, oh yeah, we got to get the fiddler. The we got to get the fiddler. Any closing remarks? Um, thank you so much for having us. And just like you said, come out for Johnny's Jog and um, it'll be a nice way to kind of kick off spring and mm -hmm. get out there and yeah, get to some well-deserved organizations and um, it'll be a lot of fun. So, yeah. All right. Yeah, it's a good way. To, I feel like after the couple years we've had, it's an outdoor event and it's a good way to get back with people and sort of a safer environment. Being around friends, yeah. you're exercising, you're having a good time for a good cause, yeah. most right. importantly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Again, episode so 41 was fantastic. 42. 42, fantastic. even. 41 was Cy Hess. 42. We got a couple good ones. Paul Buca. Yes. Becky's. Becky's dad. Uh, awesome. Medal of Honor recipient. Very excited for our next podcast. Please be in tune. Thank you, Owen. Thank you, Dave. Thank you. Direct Line Thank Media. You. Thank you, Will and Cody, for We Hot Roasting and Brewing. Mm -hmm. On three, we'll say be a good friend. One, two, three. Be, Be a, a good, good friend. friend. Thank you.